Hey there, this is Beth, and today I want to talk to you about how to kill ants naturally. And um, I have three different ways, or different ways I want to show you how to do it. And the first way that we do it is we find the ant hill and we pour boiling water on it. Okay, this right here is not a real ant hill, um, but it's a pretend ant hill because I couldn't find an ant hill because our methods have been very effective. So, anyway, so you just take the top of the ant hill. You pour the boiling water inside. And the best times to do this um, are when it's cooler outside because I read that ants tend to be up closer to the opening to get more warmth. Um, so you want to do it when it's cooler outside and you kind of want to sneak up on the ant hill and do it because if there's any kind of uh, something going on, the ants will move to protect the queen. And so what this pouring the boiling water method does to the ants is it burns them and it kills them and hopefully gets to the queen and all the larvae that um, is in there. Okay, the next method for getting rid of ants is to use food grade diatomaceous earth. And it kind of looks like this stuff right here. Um, make sure you can see it. Okay, so it looks like this. And what this stuff does is it when insects, like ants, walk across it, the diatomaceous earth has tiny crystals in it and it cuts up their bodies and it dehydrates them. And you can actually use food grade diatomaceous earth as a, for, for other insects as well. We had um, scorpions in one of our houses and this worked really well. We put this around all the entrances and things um, of the house and it worked well because we found some desiccated scorpion bodies, uh, so it helped. Um, and you just take it and you sprinkle it across um, entrances where ant lines are coming through. And this will be very effective in killing worker ants that are out looking for food to bring back to the colony. I'm not sure how well it will work with um, inside the colony, but it could if they bring it back into the colony somehow. You could also mix this with some sugar or with, um, you know, food or something to get them to bring it back to the colony. I don't know if it'll work with killing, but it will work ants or other insects that walk across it. So this is good stuff. You can just find this at a gardening store. Make sure you get food grade diatomaceous earth because it will be safe um, for you and if you have pets and children and stuff like that. So this is good stuff. The very last thing that I method I have in getting rid, rid of ants naturally is to mix. This is not as natural as some of the other methods but there is a thought going around that regular cornmeal will kill ants. I looked it up online and I don't know if it's entirely true for all ants. I know that some ants, like fire ants, cannot eat solid things and so they bring solid things like this back to their ant colony and they feed it to larvae, I believe, and then the larvae um, make it into like a liquid that they feed to the worker ants. So at least with red ants or fire ants, the worker ants can only eat liquids to get poisoned. But if you want to do, you could mix some cornmeal, maybe about two scoops, uh, two, ta two teaspoons of cornmeal, and about a teaspoon of sugar just to entice the ants. And then I would mix up about a teaspoon of the borax into a mixture. And then you can put it where the ants come across and they will take it back to their colony and it'll be a more slower acting poison because eventually, hopefully, this will get to the queen and kill her also. If you use this method, you want to keep your children away from it and your pets away from it so that they don't get any of this into them. So this is the last method that we use. I hope you liked this video. Make sure you share it and you give me a thumbs up. And in the comments below the video, let me know which methods you have for killing ants. I've heard of all kinds of things like with cinnamon oil or cinnamon powder or chili powder, vinegar, things like that. So let me know what you do to help kill your ants. And thank you for watching.